Hello everyone and welcome to A House of Rhythm. My name is Sheena and today I am going to do an express flow for you guys um, just to kind of work on um, our hips, warming up first, um, and again, just focusing on hips as maybe some of us, we are sitting at our desk a lot or um, maybe we're storing a lot of uh, heavy emotions in our hips. So this is going to be about mm, 10 to 15 minute uh, flow to warm up and kind of bring some energy toward our hips, which is also a very, very integral part of our core. So what you'll need for this, um, if you'd like, is a block and a yoga strap. Um, and if you have any kind of injuries or any kind of restrictions that will prevent you from participating in any of this, um, feel free to maybe uh, take a resting pose, maybe child's pose, or maybe stay in downward dog. So we'll first um, start in a tabletop position. So we'll come down to our knees and our hands. And we'll just kind of do a warm up here. So our knees need to be hip width distance apart, our arms straight. And what we'll do here is inhale and push up the uh, upper parts of our back to the ceiling. And when we exhale, we're gonna drop the belly low, send the hips up. So whenever you're ready, inhale and send the upper back all the way up to the ceiling, bringing the belly button in. Exhale, dropping the belly, lifting the hips, last to come up is the head. Let's do a few more of these at your own pace just to kind of warm up. And whenever you're ready, we'll come to that neutral back. Now what we're gonna do is swing our hips first to the right and then to the left. So again, this is just warming up the body. Make sure you are breathing in through the nose. And preferably when you start, you wanna also exhale out of the nose. That's gonna help build a little bit of fire for you. So the more you are swinging your hips to each side, maybe you go a little bit lower. Maybe you start to see that you're warming up already. On your next inhale, come back to that tabletop position. And here we're just gonna go ahead and send the hips all the way back to our heels, more like a child's pose. So big toes to touch, then we're gonna bring the knees to the outer edges of the mat and then bring our forehead all the way down. So this is our child's pose. And here you can gain some length in the spine and the back by just reaching forward, or maybe pulling yourself gently to stretch out the back. But at the same time, keeping the tailbone going toward the direction of your heels. All right, so we're gonna take a deep inhale through the nose and then we're gonna exhale, walk the hands out to the right. When you do this, try to keep that left hip back toward the left foot. Inhale back to center. Exhale, walk the hands out over to the left, keeping the right hip Sending it back to the right heel. Inhale back to center. And one more time. Exhale, walking the hands out to the right. Here, if you want to get a deeper stretch, maybe take the left hand and grab a hold of the right wrist. Inhale back to center. And we go to the left. Taking the right hand, grabbing a hold of that left wrist. Being aware of the hips, keeping them sent back. Inhale, back to center. 
now we're going to come all the way forward and kind of rock and roll back from child's pose into a low cobra so i'll demonstrate first inhale pushing up opening up the chest rolling the shoulders back we're not tensing up the hips and the the glutes yet we're just using the core to hold to keep us together there exhale sing the hips back inhale rolling forward again not tensing up the glutes or the hips you're just opening up the chest rolling the shoulders back and you're activating other areas of the core but not the hips and not the the glutes inhale roll forward we'll do this about two more times And then we're gonna send ourselves up to a downward dog after this last one. So when you come back to your child's pose, you're gonna come back up to tabletop, curl the toes under, and then come up to your downward dog. Once you're here in downward dog, just adjust your posture, making sure that the arms are straight. Your gaze can go either towards your knees or your navel. Your legs can be straight, but if not, if the hamstrings are a little um, tight, you can bend the knees if you need to. And then once you're here, we're gonna walk the dog. So just bending the right knee, then the left. So now what we're gonna do, after we've done walking our dog, we're going to walk our feet, try not to sway the hips too much, walk our feet all the way to our hands for a forward fold. Now once you come here to your forward fold, you have some options. You can either bend the knees and bring the chest to the thigh, crown of the head goes down toward the mat, or if your hamstrings are already fired up and you're ready, you can keep the legs straight. Just make sure you bring the chest to the thigh and the crown of the head toward the floor. When you're here, go ahead with your hands, grab opposite elbows, and just swing. This is the ragdoll pose. And forward fold is really good for the lower back. So inhale, halfway lift. So with your halfway lift, either you can bring the palms to your shins or your fingertips down to the mat. Legs can be straight or bent just a little bit. The feeling should be as if you're leaning forward, almost about to fall, but we know you won't. You'll catch yourself. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold, chest to thigh. Inhale, palms come down to the mat, and then chaturanga. Once we come back to our downward dog, let's go ahead and walk the hands to our feet. Once you're here, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chest to thigh, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold, chest to thigh. And we'll walk the hands back out to a downward dog. And we're gonna do that uh, one more time uh, in each direction before we move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and walk our feet all the way to our hands. Exhale, fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. We're gonna inhale, bring the palms down to the mat, send the right foot back left foot rolling forward to chaturanga once you get to your downward dog go ahead and walk the hands all the way to the feet try not to sway too much exhale fold chest to thigh inhale halfway lift exhale fold chest to thigh and then we're going to walk the hands back out to a downward dog once you're here, big toes to touch. Lift that right foot all the way up. We're gonna bend the knee, rolling forward, bring that um, right foot between the hands, 
And then what we're gonna do is roll over onto opposite sides of our feet with your right hand pushing that right knee away from the body. Inhale, come back to the uh, bottom of your right foot and onto the toes of your left. And then here we're gonna go ahead and drop that left knee down to the mat. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. And now we can bring that left top of our foot flat to the mat. Here, um, you can kind of push through that right foot to have a healthy balance in your pelvic area. Exhale, release the arms. Now here, let's go ahead and kind of walk that right foot over a little bit. You can stay here with your palms down to the mat just to stretch out that right hip. Or if you want to go a little bit further, you can go ahead and come down onto your forearms. When you're doing this, make sure that right knee is hugging into the body. Inhale, push back up. And then what we're gonna do is come all the way up, arms go all the way up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna push through that right foot, coming back to a half split. And then coming back forward from that half split, extending the arms up. So we're just creating movement. We'll do one more of these. Let's go ahead and send that right foot back. And then we're gonna bring the left foot forward. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up and over. Walk that left foot a little bit further out. Exhale, go ahead and bring the palms down to the mat. Either you can stay here or come all the way down to your forearms. Remembering to hug that left shoulder with the left knee. Inhale, come back up. Come all the way back up to that very low lunge here. And then we're gonna push through the left foot, coming back to a half split. Exhale, bring the arms down, kind of fold over that left leg, flex the left foot so the toes are pointing towards your face. And then again, we're gonna have movement. So bringing the left foot back down, come bringing our arms all the way back up to that low lunge. Exhale, go ahead and straighten out that left leg again. Half split. Also too, if you want to extend this a little bit further, you can also kind of sit on that, uh, sit back towards your heels, bend the left knee if you need to, that's gonna help stretch out the hamstrings. All right, inhale, come back up to that low lunge. Exhale, arms come down to the mat. Left foot goes back. Let's go ahead and curl our toes under and knee back in downward dog. Inhale, bring both toes to touch. Lifting the right leg all the way up. We're gonna roll forward, bringing that right foot again between our hands, but this time rolling onto the right side of that foot. We're gonna turn our fingertips toward the right foot for a lizard pose. So we're folding in, um, over. You should feel this in your right hip, opening up the hip flexors. Exhale, go ahead and bring that left foot back flat. And then we're gonna send that left right leg back all the way up. Exhale, bring it all the way back down to the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg all the way up. Rolling forward, bringing the left foot between the hands. We're gonna go ahead and roll over into the left side of that left foot. And then facing our fingertips toward that left foot. We're gonna fold over here for lizard pose. Inhale, go ahead and turn your fingers, bring that left foot back down to the mat. 
And then we're gonna send that left leg all the way back out to a three-legged dog. Exhale, go ahead and bring that left foot back down to the mat. So here, bend both knees, look at your thumbs. We're gonna hop, jump, or maybe even walk to the top of the mat and come to a seated position. For me, I like to hop forward and cross over my ankles. So let's go ahead and extend the legs in front of you. Maybe bring the sit bones down to the heels and then go ahead and lay all the way down on the mat. Bring the, your arms out into a letter T, keeping the bottom of your feet flat to the mat. Go ahead and lift off the mat, bringing the knees into the chest. Extend the left leg back out down to the mat. Uh oh. And then extend the right leg all the way up in front of you. Once your right leg is up, take your right peace finger, grab a hold of your big pinky toe. Open that right leg all the way out to the right. Try to keep the left hip down to the mat. So in order to do that, you might have, you may not be able to go all the way, maybe just a little bit. Inhale back to center, change grips with your left hand. You're gonna bring that right leg all the way over. You're crossing your body, working the out, outer edges of your hips. Inhale back to center. One more time, and then we're gonna move on to the other leg. Inhale back to center, switch grip. Bring that right leg over. Inhale back to center. And this time we're gonna switch out the leg, sending that right foot forward. Bringing the left leg straight. Taking our left peace finger, grabbing a hold of that left big toe, opening up the leg all the way to the left, keeping the right hip flat to the mat. Inhale back to center, switching grips. My right hand is gonna grab a hold of that left foot and bring it crossing over my body. Inhale back to center, one more time. Peace fingers, opening that left leg out to the left. Inhale back to center, changing my grip, bringing it all the way over to the right. Inhale back to center. This time, go ahead and bring that right leg to meet the left. We're gonna bend the knee. Crossing the ankles, or maybe not actually. Let's go ahead and, and uh, grab a hold of behind our thighs here and just do a few rocks until you can come up into a seated position. So that was actually my 15 minute flow for the hips. Um, obviously, whenever you have time, um, you can also expand that, maybe hold those poses a little bit longer or do them for more repetitions. Um, that way you can work out, on, work out your hips if you have some tight hip flexors or um, just some tense areas there. So thanks again for your time. Please check out more videos at House of Rhythm. Thank you for joining me again. My name is Sheena. And the light in me honors the light in you.